you're doing something for someone. You know, you're not just plodding along and oh, that, I've had people say to me, oh, I don't know why you help them. They're in, that, they're in that situation because they're too bloody lazy to go to work or something like that. I say, oh, no, no, no. That might be some of the reasons. Doesn't matter. I don't, personally don't care whether they're too lazy to go to work or not. If they need help, they get it. I thought, well, what are we going to do? What am I going to do? And there was also a passage in the Bible that got me in, and, and that was Matthew 25, about uh, whatever you do for my brothers, you do for me. But the parish priest was away at the time when we got there, and they had a Franciscan. And he said, yeah, they're trying to set up a St Vincent de Paul conference, which I didn't really know anything about. And he said, the parish priest is away. He's over in Ireland at the moment. But he said, uh, he's told us we can't have one because he didn't think there was any, any need for it in the area. He said, we think there is. So that was all right. We set it up while he was away. And so when he came back, he, he was a little bit annoyed, but he, he, he didn't tell us we couldn't do it. And eventually he was very, very supportive. And that was how it got started. His commitment, his dedication, and just his humility that he just simply goes about just and, and his honesty, he just absolutely upfront, you know where you stand with Alan. He takes no nonsense and you know if people sort of insist on rules and things, he says, no, hang on, get real, just go about, do your job, care for people, love them. Times I've been president here at this conference four times and um, you know, I'd get the odd new member, but and I remember one in particular that uh, was very interested. Oh, I would like to come with you. And in those days, you, you didn't have to have nominations and things. You just said, oh, well, come on, come with me on a visit and see what you think. When we came, it turned out to be particularly difficult. And when we came out, he stood on the nature strip and cried. And, and I said, what's wrong? He said, I can't do it. I said, terribly sorry. He said, I just cannot do that. I said, why? He said, I, he said it just distresses me so much. And I said, well, you've got to learn the secret of standing back. Doesn't mean you care any less, but you just got to stand back sometimes. It is a bit hard to come to terms with. So you don't have to like them, you've got to love them. Alan has a strength and an honesty. He's reliable and he's loving. He's a very, very loving, loving, loving man. And um, we love him to bits. Um, yes, but we're very proud of him. And Alan is very well respected. The people that he's worked with in the tramways, um, for the people on Puff and Billy, for the people in St Vincent de Paul, he's honest and he, he says it is, and what you see is what you get. Alan collects all our info. When we do a visit, we do a written report and we email it to Alan and Alan keeps that on, on, on record on his computer and at each of our meetings, Alan reads out just the brief details of, of the visits that we've done for, for that particular fortnight or in between meetings. And he keeps a brilliant record, and which is really, and, and you know, it, it's, it's marvellous. Well, first, one of the first things, of course, is being a member of the conference and the friendship and, the, and, and there are lasting friendships and have been for a long time. Of course, there's always the, the, the main thing is um, what you can do to help somebody. Um, I've been in the situation as a child and, and a young person where um, I had uh, parents that had a drink problem and so I know what it's like to uh, go to school without uh, breakfast or uh, go to bed without, uh, without dinner and all that sort of stuff. Been there, done that and uh, that, that probably motivates you a bit or a lot. Of course the other thing is it's who you're doing it for, not but just the people that you're helping. But I just I go back to what I said at the start. At least my brothers you do for me.